Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Summon Night Starcraft Story. Uh, yeah, I thought it was mandatory to fight this thing, and as soon as I ended the dialogue, I would, like, be forced into battle or something, but that's not the case. So, let's explore this floor first. Okay, then. Um, this one. Still don't know a real effective way to deal with, uh, killer swords. But watch as I get nothing from these four. I was joking. Still nothing on the strategy. Oh, another clots and Uh, anything over here? That was a real tough fight. One red gremlin. Heck yeah. Um, anything? Hmm, could he learn an interesting skill? Weapon shield. It, uh, serves like an astral guard for your weapon, so that it'll almost never break. Show it off here. Yeah. Oh, it can't break. Okay. Oh, there you go. Well, I can breeze through red gremlins easy enough, but that's not the problem. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw down the safe state here. Ah, killer swords. Okay. And at this point in the game, your offensive magic won't be too useful against bosses, so just, uh, use it on, you know, normal groups of enemies. I like the two magic Kino and red gremlin combo. That's always a fun one. Alright, here we have heavy metal. Um, enchantment. Astro Guard. And healing on stand. Alright, now this guy. You want to have a relentless assault because he's going to do that. At that point, um, run around. Oh, I bet it has something to do with where his shadow is. Other than that, um, he isn't too tough because I just totally wiped him out. Wow. Uh, I remember having a problem with him before. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's my imagination, or I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, but we leveled up once. And, uh, let's see, 72, 36, 36 times 2 is... Yeah, okay. Remember, attack needs to be double agility, which will one day be double defense. As soon as I've been able to allocate more than one point at a time. So we are level 24 now, and we got the Dragon Fang War. Maybe... Oh. You said it, Cuddy. No, not, not, not right now. Okay. Um. Maybe we can. No? Okay, fine. I was hoping to get a description of the item. Ah, uh, that's a lame move, game. I'll be back. I assumed something would happen here. Alright. Uh, I would have transitioned as I normally would have, but I paused the recording. I should have realized that something would happen and I unpaused at the door, but that's okay. Thanks for the warning. Uh, who's he? Yes. Ah, oh, my eyes. Yeah, oh, geez. Nice. Um, we're not the only one, but we, we, we got that thing. Are we allowed to use it? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not. No, we're not. Okay. Just check. So, yeah. Um, 
Teleporter. Wow, I've become insanely powerful. Okay, um, it's here, right? Oh, yes. Come on. Haha, <laughs> made it without getting attacked. That's first. Huh? Oh, hi, Beryl. That's good. Okay. Still kind of a jerk. Mm, just slightly. Okay, uh, let's go back to my workshop. So why are we back here? Uh, well, just look at that huge number of materials I have. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted. Let's go see the old man! Okay, here we are back at uh, this guy's place. What's his name? Uh, I couldn't actually tell you because I've totally forgotten. Um, where is it? I think I forgot something. Something important. Uh, it's not that here. I have it. It's not that important. Um, well, you could go back here, but that, well, well, that was just making it so much better. Yeah, um, uh, maybe it's in here. Maybe you can talk about it. I'll let you know when I find him. Okay, so how was he supposed to find this out? I don't remember, but, um, apparently he's out here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's in trouble. You, you tell me how to pronounce that. Oh, hey, his name. Right before Sakuto said it. <laughs> nope. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Crap Lord of Diamond. Now retired, I suppose. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> well, Cuddy's ready for a fight. Yeah, I wonder if... <laughs> yeah, that, that was smart. Eh, I, I preferred the other answer. Anyway, so here we have a soldier, and oh crud, I, I forgot to reconfigure my magic and stuff. Uh, well, I'll just show you what to do against normal armies. Um, this muscle from here, I usually use the one surrounded. And burst flare is good for one single strong opponent, such as that. Sure. Such as, oh crap, I'm too far away now. Uh, such as that killer sword thing. And only when he's right in front of you. Okay, let's just go on, get uh, on, I'm setting that. Unfortunately, the sword is swifter than that, so I'm gonna have kind of a problem here. I used to just use that, this guy's butt really easily because I would use the spear and knock him slowly, but, yeah. Um, ow. Okay, so this isn't going very well because I didn't continue my stuff, and Astro Rod would help immensely right now. But I could totally get his uh, weapon rusty, I think, but uh, that's just his own kit before, isn't it? So, what do I get? I suppose I'd find out if I just kept guarding all day. Crap, I'm done. Get it done. Ah. Come on. Okay, one healing spell left. This is going fantastically. I still have a swing till start, guys. Haha, now I in How did you fit an axe in the... No, whatever. So, do I get something for breaking this weapon, or nothing at all, or what? 
you could just get that normally. Oh, hey, guess who decided to make another cameo? Uh, so, uh, yeah, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's all for this episode of Let's Play Some Night's Warcraft Story, though. Join me next time when we, uh, deliver the dragon thing, or I guess? I can't even remember now. Well, until then, later, guys.